Okay, how you guys doing? Right now, I'm doing a pre I'm doing a preview of the new ZTE Z Max Pro for Metro PCS. And yes, this phone is running on the latest software, which is Marshmallow, which I which I'm going to show you guys later on in this video. But right now, the reason why I got this phone facing towards the back to show you guys the um, fingerprint scanner and the multitask it could do. It's actually the first phone with a fingerprint scanner you could do multitask with. I'm going to show you guys right now. As you know, the phone is off the screen right now, but by me putting my finger on there, I pretty much open my, um, my email. Turn the phone off again. And what's suppose I just want to just turn the What's the post that's want to turn the phone? There you go, guys. Now I turn the phone. Just not using the power button. I demonstrate again for you. I demonstrate for you one more time. Just in case you guys didn't get it. Phone is off. In the back, the fingerprint scan. Or suppose I want to check my um, email. See the fingerprint scan? Phone is off. Put my hand on the fingerprint scan. There you go. That's my email. Now, what suppose? What suppose I just want to just turn on my phone while hitting the power button? I'm gonna do it again. The fingerprint scan, my fingerprint scan right here. Change it to my, change it to my left hand. There you go, guys. The first phone ever with a multitask fingerprint scan. Now. As you can see right now, I'm going to conduct a benchmark test. I'm probably the first guy that able to do a benchmark test for the new ZTE Z Max Pro. But I'm going to tell you what's actually in this phone here. Right now, this phone is 4G LTE enabled. This is a 6-inch screen, big boys. 6 inch, not no 5 inch, not no 4 inch, not no 5.5, this is 6 inch screen here. And also this phone in the back, it got a, it got a 13 megapixel camera in the rear. 13 megapixel camera with flash and there's the fingerprint scanner. And in the front, it got a 5 y'all, a 5 megapixel camera in the front of five also this phone also this phone also it got um 32 gigs y'all 32 gigs eternal memory 32 gigs two gigs around a 1.5 gigahertz processor with fingerprint scanner in the back and right now, I waited for this phone here to go on price because I checked Metro PCS and this phone was selling like $230. So I came back today and I got the phone for only $99. Woohoo! I saved money right there. Now, I got the phone in my hand. I got the phone in my hand. That's the fingerprint scanner right there. I'm gonna let me open nothing up to my fingerprint on here. Now, this phone here, um, I'm conducting a benchmark test. As you know, I'm gonna cut it on right now. Benchmark test. Right now, I finished did a benchmark test previous to this video, but all that's irrelevant now. Irrelevant. But it actually finished off at 46,154. Impressive. 
Now I'm going to start the um, benchmark test again. For y'all guys, the benchmark test for the new ZTE Z Max Pro Metro PCX. Now, by the way, guys, I really don't know why nobody haven't actually talked about this phone here. This phone has been out for a while, though. This is the new phone, the um, new ZTE, Z Max Pro. But only one guy actually did it. When I actually checked the YouTube, he did a, a video to the, um, the new ZTE. I'm probably the second guy, and I'm probably the only guy that actually doing a benchmark test of the new ZTE Z Max Pro. I basically I always do a benchmark test in all my phones. You know, you can check my previous video. I did a benchmark test on my um, Galaxy Note 4 phone. I did a benchmark test again on my um, my blue phone. You check all my previous video. I always I always conduct the benchmark test. That's the way I um, could tell how fast the phone is. And how and how it perform, you know, that's how that's how I do it. That's how I do. It. You don't have to do it like that because you know you don't have to judge every phone by using a benchmark test. It don't work. I mean, because you can't really use that benchmark test on everyday life though. But right now I'm doing it to show y'all guys the performance and and all that good stuff, the flash, the hardware, and all that stuff combined in one. Right now it's finishing at 50 percent. Two percent. I'm gonna see it break the record. I'm gonna see it go over um, forty six thousand. I'm gonna see it break the record, y'all. You know, for a low budget phone, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm very impressed. I mean, finally, I, uh, finally the um the ZTE. That's the last phone I expect to step up to the plate. ZTE, <laughs> and finally step up to the plate, y'all. For a low budget phone, you really getting your money worth. Right now, I got this phone on sale on Metro PCS for about um, nine nine dollars. This phone re this phone retail price is 
two hundred and thirty dollars that's retail price but right now I went to Metro um, PCS and got this phone on sale for only ninety nine for ninety nine dollars okay okay you guys right now it's gonna finish conducting the um, benchmark text right now I'm at ninety two percent Okay, it finished up at um forty six thousand six hundred and thirty seven. That's the benchmark test. Right now, guys, right, I'm gonna show this. This this phone is running the um latest software, which is Marshmallow. I just gotta go into settings. And there it is, Marshmallow. Ma I mean Marshmallow uh six point six point zero. Point one. Hold on to this thing here. Let activate the marshmallow. Let you guys know it's actually running on marshmallow, not no third party app. There you go guys, marshmallow. I'm gonna hit on the marshmallow button so I can turn it on for you. Make sure you guys know it's the real marshmallow. Not no third party app. It's not running on no it's not running on a uh, no third party app, no nothing. The real marshmallow. Yeah. It's sort of like Kit Kat though, but it's it's really marshmallow. This is marshmallow right here. It's running on marshmallow. As you know, this phone is actually running on, as you can see right now. Let's get it on right. And let's focus this camera. It's running on the, uh, 4G LTE. That's running on 4G LTE. This phone is it's activated. I'm going to call this phone right now for you guys. So let you guys know that this phone is activated. And it's running. Let me call it up. Call this phone up. No, my phone is acting up, but it is active. It's an active phone. I'm using it, but you know, I always get this in the video, man. I mean, Murphy Law. Where you think it's, it's going to go wrong, it went wrong. So, you like what you're seeing, guys? share and subscribe please i got a gofundme account so if you want me to continue to make these videos here of these new gadgets that i'll be getting i need you guys to uh, donate to my gofundme account that's all until then later